Polly switch and we're gonna go through some troubleshooting for the rollover exercise. Now one of the most important things to consider when you're working on this rollover skill is the health of your dog. If your dog has some uh, spinal back issues or even hip dysplasia uh, or problems with their, their hips and uh, seem somewhat uncomfortable for you to touch them down uh, in this area here, I would advise not doing the rollover trick with your dog. You're going to put, um, put your dog into more stress than he or she needs to be in. Now, Switch hasn't learned this skill. She is a dog who's a little bit highly strung and feels that rolling onto her side or rolling over and exposing her belly is really, really vulnerable. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, problem solve those particular points that some of you might be having with your dogs. Now we saw with Tali that we had stage one, popping it into a nice square down and trying to draw this nose over to her rib cage or her shoulder to get that weight shift. Now switch on this weight change tends to pull herself back up into a sit instead of um, shifting that uh, leg under now she's put herself into a drop that way with that foot under which is really nice I'm going to go with it and give her lots and lots of treats. I'm going to load up and get four or five And see if I can push that through now She's resisting a lot on this elbow resisting so much there on the elbow and going I'm not going to commit over so I'm going to do a little sneaky and I'm going to pull this elbow in underneath just like that and give her cookies still so much cookies and value building for lying here on her side. You can also see the difference with Tali. Tali had her top leg lying very relaxed down. Switch is holding it up really tight so I'm showing that she is a little bit stressed and uncomfortable being in this position. And I'm going to continue value building that. Good girl. I'll put a light finger just on her collar to keep her down into that position. And as I slow down and relax we might even see that back leg dropping down but that's definitely a sign of a little bit of anxiousness there she goes in that position good job so i'm going to let her up and have a little bit of a break very nice let's see if we can go through and get that weight shifting again again she's struggling that little bit i can see that she really wants to go and i'm not going to go this side she's going to push back up again she's shifted onto that other leg i'm going to do that sneaky of the elbow underneath Anytime your dog really resists, just let go. She hasn't got the cookies yet because it's not quite a picture that I'm after. This is where if we were introducing the cue of rollover really early, my dog would be pairing the rollover to something that's really stressful. So it's important to make sure that our puppy is really, really comfortable in performing the skill over and over and over again before we even think about adding a cue to it. Weight shift, a little sneaky pull of that paw from underneath, good job, and value building. Have we got a roll over? The good girl! Such a good girl! Nice one! Hopefully that helps solve some of your troubleshooting issues with your puppy.